G'day plant friends and welcome to this video and yes, I am uploading a midweek video. What kind of special event is this? Well, I'm glad you asked what the special occasion is. You see, I have conducted a number of experiments on this channel in the past and I have had a mind to be running a, another one, but I want your help. On my most recent video, Mark, thank you Mark, posted a link to a 1963 study conducted by the Californian Avocado Society. Where they found that peeling the skin of an avocado seed, so the seed coat, increased its chance of germination and the speed at which it germinated. And germination is just when a switch is kind of switched on inside the seed that tells it to grow. Now I've started avocado seeds both peeled and unpeeled before, but I haven't decided on which one is best. So that's an interesting study to read, I'd be pretty happy to believe it, but I thought that we've got an opportunity here to test out the scientific method and participate in it. And so I thought to myself, hmm, I could conduct a little experiment of my own. But then I thought, I eat two or three, maybe four avocados a week on a really big week. Uh, and that'll give me a few seeds. I want to start them pretty close together so that we get as accurate results as we can. That only gives me maybe four seeds. I can have a couple that are peeled, a couple that aren't. That's not a huge sample size, so we won't be getting very accurate data. But then I realised I have a bunch of people who are enthusiastic about avocados watching my videos, are participating in this avocado journey, and I wondered if they, you, might be interested in getting involved with this experiment. So I conducted a poll on Instagram and on my YouTube community tab, and collectively over 200 people said, yeah, I'd be up for doing an experiment. And so we're going to put this to the test. Now, we're not trying to prove or disprove anything. We are going to make a hypothesis and we're going to see how it plays out. The, the purpose of conducting scientific experiments over and over again is to test to see whether the findings that we found in the past are in fact true. The larger sample size, the more data that we can collect, the better results we can get the more accurate it's going to be. This is a mathematical concept. That concept being that the more trials you run, the more accurate your results are going to be. Because coincidences happen, things do happen because of chance. Some seeds might just be ready to germinate before others. But if we're able to get a much, much larger sample size, we're going to even out those outliers and we're going to find better results that are actually truer to the phenomenon which whatever it is we're investigating and that is how science finds the truth by testing hypotheses over and over again and so i have designed an experiment now of course we are going to follow the scientific method as closely as we can here on a youtube channel and so we are going to follow the steps of the scientific method the first of which is we need to ask a question and that question will peeling an avocado seed increase its chance of germination. The second step is to do some research. So I have read that paper from 1963 from the Californian Avocado Society, and I've also read a bunch of comments on my YouTube channel yelling at me to peel the avocado seeds before I plant them. So, which is fine. I know that it is an accepted thing. So it, it should work. So we're going to test it. The third step is to form a hypothesis or a prediction of what's going to happen. Based on the current research, I hypothesize that the seeds that are peeled will have a higher germination rate, that they will germinate faster and will have a higher success rate. The fourth test is to test our hypothesis with an experiment. And so that's where we all come in. So the procedure for this experiment, to participate in the experiment, you will need two avocado seeds that you have taken out of avocados within a week. So you want them to be nice and fresh. You're going to make sure that both seeds are clean, so just rinse them under a tap and then wipe them with a cloth to make sure that there's no leftover fruit on them that could soil the water. And you're going to peel one of the seeds. So just taking that outer seed coat off. Leave the other seed with its seed coat on. The seed that has its skin still, that is our control group. We know that they will germinate, that they do germinate, so we want to test what happens if we peel the skin. That is our experimental group. So we've got our control, 
we got our experiment. We're testing the variable, which is whether or not the skin off makes a difference. Then place three toothpicks in the avocados perpendicular to the center of it. So we want them going in like this and not like this or this. So in kind of level, not dropping the avocado seed into the jar and not pushing it out of the jar. So just like that. And you're going to put them in a vessel, such as a glass jar, a glass, a cup. It doesn't matter so long as they're in the same one. And you're gonna put them in a warm, sunny spot. Now, change the water every week or so. And when you change the water on one, you do it on the other one. We need the conditions to be as identical as we possibly can make them because we're only testing the variable of the skin being present or not present. We're not testing other things. That's for another experiment. We want to be specifically testing the skin so everything else needs to be kept the same. Record the date that you started both seeds. If for whatever reason you started them a couple of days apart, that's okay. Record what date you started the skin seed and what date you started the non-skin seed and wait. Do this before the 17th of October. If you come, if you're watching this video after the 17th of October, just wait around for the results. The reason why we're doing it, starting it before the 17th of October is because we're going to run it for at least two months. So we'll be finishing on the 17th of December because that's enough time to give us an idea because we know that avocado seeds generally germinate within two months. We know that they can go for longer, but giving ourselves between two and three months should be enough to get us some results and still do this in a timely fashion for publishing our findings. Then keep an eye on your avocado seeds, changing the water once or twice a week and watch for a root protruding out the bottom of the seed. Once you notice a root first protruding out the bottom of the seed, that's when you note the germination date. Now we know that germination happens a little bit before, but for the purpose of this experiment, we're going to count germination as a root coming out the bottom of the seed. That's what we're going to define successful germination. So do that for both of your seeds. Make sure you write down which one was which date. And once they have both succeeded, you've got two roots or we get to the 17th of December and I'll be putting up a reminder on my community feed and on Instagram. Please go to scottgrowsandavocadotree.com. Yes, I have set up a website for this experiment and fill out the form to submit your data. There is a link in the description to that website. On the form, you'll be asked what country you're in because I'm curious to see if some countries have higher success rates than others. It'll ask you what date you started each seed for whatever reason, if you couldn't start them on the same date, that's okay. It'll ask you if that seed, each seed was successful and what date it started, if it was successful. It's also going to ask you to, if you have any files to upload, to upload them. Now, I'm only taking video files, preferably less than 10 seconds. If you would like to contribute to the results video, in video form. Now, depending on how many videos get submitted, you, your video may not get included. That's just because we don't want to watch an hour long video, for example, uh, but I'll do my best to accommodate. Now, because I am taking video submissions, Google requires that your email be collected there. That's just your Gmail. It needs a Gmail login to access the form, uh, which if you're using YouTube, you will have already been given them. And uh, really there's nowhere else for that email to go. That's just Google's policy. But I'm not going to email you after that unless I have a question regarding your video. And if you are taking a video, please remember horizontal. Don't film it vertically, film it horizontally. And at any point throughout the whole process at the start meeting, you can submit up to five videos. So by the 17th of December, have your data submitted and hopefully we'll get a video out before Christmas. It might be slightly further afterwards. I'm not entirely sure just yet. I am really looking forward to seeing how we, as an international community of avocado enthusiasts, go with this exciting experiment. We are contributing to the broader scientific understanding of avocados and I think that's a very exciting opportunity which we have. And I think actually avocado enthusiasts is a better name for plant friends. You know how I start the video, G'day plant friends? I think I'm gonna start G'day avocado enthusiasts because other people say plant friends, but we are specific here, we are avocado enthusiasts. So henceforth, we shall be known as avocado enthusiasts, at least after we've got 
through the backlog of the currently waiting to be uploaded videos on YouTube. Uh, so thank you, avocado enthusiasts, for watching this video and for willing, be willing to participate in this experiment. I am so excited that we are able to do this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll endeavor to get to them, have a look at the website and record all of the information that you can. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for participating in the scientific method and I will hear from you soon. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.